Session handling in web application is very important and it is the must have feature in any web application. Without it, you won't be able to track user and its activity. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can use the session in the express application. Basically, sessions are used to track the user activities. You will better understand how to use session using example. Now to understand how session work in node application, let's create a simple example. As you can notice here, I have the constant variable and I'm going to just require the express application. Then I'm going to create an instance of the express application. And then I'm going to create a constant variable port and specify the port number. And just out of that, here I'm going to say app.listen. And then inside this console, I'm going to say listen to the request on this address. And I'm going to specify this port as a first argument to this method. Now let's understand how to create a session in express application. To use session in the express application, you need to install a module called express session. So I'm going to just open a new terminal and enter in my express app like this. And here I'm going to say npm i for install and say express session. And I'm going to just install this module in my express application inside this node modules folder. Now, once I have my session module, let me just check that. So I'm going to open the package.json file and here I can notice I'm going to have this session express module in my dependency section. And now let's set up the session. So to set up the session, you need to use the session module as a middleware. So here I'm going to say app.use. So using this use method, I'm going to use the session middleware module. And inside this parenthesis, I'm going to call this session module. But before I specify here session module, let me just require it. Up here, I'm going to say constant session is equal to and require a module called express session. Just out of that, inside this use here, I'm going to say session and then specify parenthesis. To the parenthesis, I'm going to pass some argument. So I'm going to specify here curly braces. So here I'm going to first specify secret. Now this key is going to hold the secret key for the session. So here I'm going to say secret and I'm going to just specify here your secret key. And down here I'm going to just call a property called receive. And to this receive, I'm going to specify true. And then at the last I'm going to say save uninitialize true. Now this property is going to force the session to be saved. And then we have these save uninitialize. This property is going to force a session that is uninitialized to be saved and stored. Now using this secret property, you can store any secret key inside this secret variable. And now down here I'm going to create different routes. So here I'm going to say app.get. I'm going to create get method with a forward slash. So this will just refer to the root route and then create here a function with request and response parameter. And uh, inside this callback function, I'm going to create my session variable. So here I'm going to say request dot session and I'm going to create here a session variable name. And to this name variable, I'm going to specify name John. Just out of that, down here, I'm going to say return response dot send. I'm going to send the response and here I'm going to say session set. To the root route, I'm going to create a new session variable called name with this john value and return the response session set. Just for that, I want to get this session variable on different route. So down here, I'm going to say app dot get. Here I'm going to say session. So I'm going to create here a route session and just specify here a callback function with request and response parameter. And when you request on this session route, I want to return this session variable. So here I'm going to say where name is equal to request dot session dot name. I'm going to call my session variable name and specify that to this name variable. Just so that here I'm going to return response dot send name. Now save the changes and let me just start the server. So I'm going to open my terminal and here I'm going to say npm start. When I press enter, this will start the server on localhost 3000. Let me open the browser. When I open the browser, you can notice on root route, I'm going to have a message session set. Let me just open my session route. So here I'm going to say forward slash session. When I press enter, I'm going to have my session variable, John. So I have this session variable stored 
in my session object if i just say here console.log and print the request dot session save the changes reload the browser then you can notice you have here a session object with these properties to this object you have different properties like path expires the original max age and http only you don't have to worry about this property just close this terminal and just get rid of this console.log now let me just explain this code when i start the server i'm gonna first store the secret key inside this property called secret then i'm gonna create the get request on root route and then create a variable called name and specify value to it then i'm gonna send the response session set and then i'm gonna create another route and just after that to access the session variable i'm gonna call request.session.name this will just return the session value to this variable and i'm gonna just return that value using return statement now what if i want to destroy this session let me show you how to destroy this session so down here i'm gonna say app.get and here i'm gonna specify forward slash and say destroy just after that i'm gonna call here a callback function with request and response object inside this request and response i'm gonna say request dot session and call a method of session object destroy this method is going to destroy this session and as a callback function here i'm going to specify function with parameter error if there is any error you will get the data inside this error parameter inside this function i'm going to say console.log and say session destroy save the changes and restart the server now i'm going to have a message session set then i'm going to open my session route here i'm going to have a john and now let me just destroy this session variable so here i'm going to call destroy when i press enter oops i think i did not return anything here yeah right here i did not return anything as a response so down here i'm going to say response dot end save the changes reload the browser reload the browser and now the session is set then i'm going to open the session route here i'm going to have a message john so the session name variable is created with the value john and now let me just destroy this session variable so here i'm going to say destroy and press enter when i press enter here you can notice i'm not going to have anything when i open my terminal i'm going to have a message session destroy and now let me just open my session route when i press enter i'm not going to have anything here because now the session is destroyed completely you will not get anything here because the session is completely destroyed now i hope you understand how to work with session in express application in this advanced section i'm going to create a simple example of login and logout with session but for now let's move to the next topic of express which is cookies so in the next lecture we're going to understand how to work with cookies in express